Zabate, this is Jeff. <clears throat> oh, there's not a second voice there. David is currently off. Uh, in a manner of speaking. We're playing Neo. Playing boss guides. This will be a solo guide. Well, I mean, solo in the sense that I'm the only one speaking, but also, I'm the only one playing. This is one of my favorite bosses in the game. It's called Giant Toad. It's a giant toad. You go into the options and explain, explains helpfully that it is pronounced Giant Toad. Uh, this is also my go-to method for getting through to the bosses. I've been doing this in many of the videos already, but uh, it is, let's see. Oh man, I've been, it's been so long since I played this game, I forgot the actual official names of them, but uh, the invisibility and the uh, silent running. You can just run past all enemies, basically. Uh, we'll be using uh, that extensively in the boss videos to come. The giant toad, as you might imagine, is a giant toad. He fights with a spear, so we're going to fight with a spear, too. Uh, the main combo that he'll do, as you can see on the screen right now, is the two sweeps and the thrust. <clears throat> this and the uh, falling ground stab are the two most important attacks to learn how to dodge. The uh, sweeping attack... Uh, it's kind of, you can, you can maybe block the first one, I would suggest, uh, dodging to the right, uh, so that, and also staying close so that the, uh, third stab right there, you're in position to get some cheap hits. Uh, the ground stab does have an AoE on it, it's a little, it's small, but it's there. Lunch thrust comes out a little bit faster than the other spear combos, I think, so you can make sure to be in the right position. I'm a fan of mid-stance spear, it's one of my favorites, also like the... Uh, man, I forgot what that would come with this, but the, the high stance combo right there with the, the high stance Y combo, or I'm sorry, triangle. Gotta stay on message. Uh, we're entering sort of a second phase here. Uh, his key regen move is just a little stomp, but is adorable because <laughs> the actual Yokai Realm infection comes out of his pipe, which he holds in his left hand occasionally. Uh, we'll be seeing some of those moves later as well. Uh, for the most part, we're going to be doing, uh, much like we do with the humanoid bosses, but we're going to be trying to run down his uh, key or his stamina with uh, kicks. Uh, there's a good kick move on uh, swords and uh, dual swords, but uh, as you can see here, planting the spear and kicking with a uh, square triangle combo is also great. Pipe has come out again. He has a lot of sort of ninjutsu medium range long range attacks which I'll, I'll kind of like edit in so you can kind of get a good idea of how to dodge them later but I'd recommend not even worrying about them because if you stay close which is what you should be doing or at least I feel is what you should be doing in this fight uh, he will not be using those attacks very often if at all uh, in the second phase as mentioned on screen he can do a smoking pipe dash that one's a little easy to recognize because he does in fact move the pipe or attack with it it's also just a great animation as far as dodges go, uh, I'm a huge fan of the mid stance dodge to the right. That's going to get you out of, I think, pretty much all of the uh, boss attacks, bosses attacks in this particular one. Uh, there's a few, I think, there's a boss later that has attacks that you really need to do left dodges to that um, I'm so unused to doing. It's uh, much frustration. Uh, this one actually didn't take that long to get the Crusher achievement on, uh, as you can see at the corner there. Uh, now, Vibrate William. Vibrate in victory. Let's see some of those extra moves. There's, old, there's a, a gross tongue lick. Uh, that can be followed up. That follows up the pipe attack, or it can. This one, there's not much to say about it. It is is basically just another kind of thrust, except that he doesn't actually change positions. The explosive kunai sucks, because <laughs> you can see it sticks on you. Uh, this is a very Ninja Gaiden, Ninja uh, Ninja Gaiden 2 kind of thing, uh, and I don't like those games at all. Uh, of course, I mean the modern Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden Black games. Uh, the S1 is fine. Uh, yes, explosive kunai, explosive shurikens are the worst. He also has paralysis bombs. Hmm. I've only seen this attack once, and I've never actually been uh, hit by it. I really, I think that's uh, paralyzing bombs. You walk in there, and eventually you'll get, as you might imagine, paralyzed. Uh, this really hasn't been a problem 
That's really more of the gimmick for the, the second boss. The Hino Inma. Actually managed to dodge through the Kunai this time. There's the tongue grab. The second of the tongue moves. This has a lot more uh, forward range. Uh, and it also is just a great animation. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. As mentioned earlier, his actual pipe is what causes the yokai bombs to uh, come out, which I think is great. Uh, he can also throw cluster bombs. Uh, I forget what those are called, but you, you can actually get pretty much all of these attacks. Maybe not the uh, the full spread, the, or the same kind of spread, but you can do pretty much all the same attacks uh, that he can do. It's in the ninjutsu tree, which uh, kind of goes along with his uh, uh, sort of family line. You can also just do a single sweep. I was trying to see if there was a tell in the hands whether or not he had to uh, two-handed or not, and I don't think that's the case. Uh, but either way, it should be dodged pretty much the way that the, the two-sweep lunge or two-sweep thrust is dodged. And you should really pay more attention to the two-sweep thrust getting close behind and then dodge back from the AoE slam, and then there you go. Pretty much good after that. Uh, I mentioned earlier that this didn't really take that long to get the uh, Crusher achievement on, just because, uh, I don't know, it just kind of clicked in place. I like to, I like using the spear. I did eventually switch over to dual swords as my sort of second love, which I spend a lot of time with. Uh, but I've spent time with a bunch of the weapons. Uh, I like pretty much all of them. They're all fun in their own ways. Uh, I really like the uh, parries on the Xeno Sword. The, uh, the super stabby combos on the high stance spear are also pretty awesome. That's actually it. The giant toad is dead. Poor giant toad. Uh, he can, he'll come back later, I think, in another side mission. Um, not really any harder. Giant toad himself is not, not that difficult. Uh, that is it. That is it for this video, this boss guide. Now, this... The recording's only been going for like seven and a half minutes. Normally there would be a podcast portion where I would sit and talk about some game I was playing recently, reflect upon it, uh, have some sort of uh, random spiraling tangential discussion about various game and life topics. Uh, unfortunately that will not happen this time. Uh, we'll, as, as a shocking change of pace, we'll keep this video on topic and, uh, and we're done. Uh, of course, if you would like to um, support us in what we're doing here, you can uh, go to Patreon and you can uh, you can give us like a certain amount of money each month. You can also give us a PayPal tip, which is great. Uh, and you can also do all the normal YouTube-related things on the side of the YouTube video. Uh, but that's it for now. Let's see. The next video, Neo Boss Guides, is the Ogress. Spoilers. The Ogress is... It took a very long time to get a no damage run on the Ogress. The Ogress is very aggressive, but there is some good tricks. There's some uh, there's some good spots that you can uh, place yourself in in order to avoid most damage. Most of the <clears throat> problem with the Ogress is the amount of health that she has, which is a lot. And the fact that uh, the camera is your worst enemy, even though it's just a rectangular uh, arena. You get up next to the sides, the camera decides to kind of go on an incredible journey, uh, exploring the, uh, the 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 heights and depths of William's model, but never the boss, or at least never the boss when you want it to happen. Get crushed and die, and there's sadness and tears. But that's next time. Thank you for watching. This has been the Giant Toad. I guess I should say something like Dark Souls. But it kind of rings hollow since we finished the Dark Souls guides. So I'll just say, Neo.